Hey YouTube, GR here. Uh, talk to you a little bit today about uh, Serpa Blackhawk holsters and why I decided to uh, return this one. Uh, I did a lot of research online about this holster before I made a decision to purchase it. The price is very good, uh, mid $20 to $30 range. If you get it online, you shop around. Um, before I start into this, uh, into the reasons why I'm returning the holster, I just want everyone to know that um, why I may have a personal problem with this holster, I don't believe uh, that my reasoning may warrant uh, the holster to be junk or uh, unusable or not a good product. I think it's a fine product. It's just there's some things about it that I don't like, and I'm going to explain um, what those options are. Uh, what those things are and then you could decide upon uh, yourselves if you like to uh, use this holster or not. So um, as you can see it's a paddle holster. Uh, the fit and finish is great. Um, this is a Glock 23. It's been safety checked. Uh, everything is empty. <clears throat> as you can see here the way this holster works is uh, you would it's a retention holster. Um, you go ahead and you press this button here and it releases the weapon. Um, upon, uh, to slide it back in, same thing, you should have a nice uh, audible click and it's uh, secured in place. Um, secured pretty darn well too. I mean it's not going anywhere, it's got a little shake to it but that could be adjusted as well. I didn't take the time to do that. Um, just so you could get a view of the back side. Um, now the problem with this holster is, um, one of the problems is uh, some people may consider it a problem, some people may consider it not a problem. The reason being is that the problem could be alleviated with training. Um, a significant amount of training, though uh, there may be a... Um, how do I explain this? Sometimes no amount of training could uh, replicate a uh, situation where you're going to be very extremely nervous, rushed, panicked, sweaty. Um, so I'm going to show you uh, what could happen with this weapon. Um, so you have a life or death situation, you decide you're going to draw your weapon, you reach, you put your finger on the button to release it, and as you're coming out with that downward pressure, downward pressure on that button, your finger, it's still on the holster, there's a portion where it's going to stop being on the holster and then going to transition over to the gun. Um, as you can see, it could slide slide down off the uh, frame and end up in the trigger uh, trigger <clears throat> I'm sorry trigger guard um, as you can see I have uh, a long nail there so it kind of caught it's not my coke nail just so you guys know stop making fun of me that would be the pinky which I don't have either um, so let's uh, let's replicate this in like a fast draw scenario so grab you can see how it could slide off. Um, the Glock also, as you can see here, this frame section here, the Glock is known for a low bore axis. Uh, low, uh, low bore axis means that uh, from this angle, the height uh, from the frame to the top is uh, very low, as it, so, uh, <clears throat> which would mean that uh, this would equate to less as the weapon is cycling there's less height uh, meaning less kick um, sorry that should be like this so less height so as the uh, as the slide cycles less momentum up top less uh, muzzle flip um, this <clears throat> particular uh, Glocks in particular have a very narrow frame section so they're and it's also rounded here I'm not saying it's a Glock problem but it just happens when this uh, weapon <clears throat> uh, is drawn, your finger ends up on a section that's very thin, uh, is rounded, and if your finger's sweaty, uh, if you are nervous, if you're anxious, if uh, you're scared shitless, um, you could definitely roll your finger down. I have long fingers, so it kind of lets me hit the... Uh, finger guard but if you curl a little bit it's going to come in and I've done it I'm just practicing draw 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 I pulled the trigger as you can see there <clears throat> that's the reason why I decided not to uh, go with this holster um, also uh, this is less of a uh, 
a problem for me, but people always talk about things could get jammed underneath this button, which would render the gun uh, unpullable, um, or undrawable, whatever you want to say. But uh, that I don't think that's as much of an issue unless you're in uh, heavy, dirty conditions, as in dust, sand, uh, grit. Then again, a piece of lint could get under there, a uh, you know, a string like from clothing. Absolutely. So if this doesn't, if this button isn't able to be pressed, the gun's not coming out. I mean, really not coming out. Um, <clears throat> so uh, those are my two qualms or two issues with uh, the Black Hawk holster. Um, it's been banned. This isn't just made. Do your research online. This has been banned at IDPA matches, some IDPA matches. It's been banned at some training seminars because people are shooting themselves in the thigh. They're trying to be quick. They're pulling. It's coming off on the trigger. And you can see how that is not completely <laughs> unimaginable. Um, people are morons, myself included, and uh, people don't get enough training. That's not a knock on anyone. People have lives. I understand. People don't train enough with their weapon, especially drawing. I'd rather, uh, <clears throat> I don't trust myself enough with that system. I mean, I'm sure I'd rather, I really like having my finger, uh, up higher. Um, uh, if you check out the, Go like, Gomez videos, he likes, uh, having it up higher, and I do as well. I mean, that's clearly, you're clearly not anywhere near the trigger. Uh, time, go ahead and time that, and it's not going to make any difference, <laughs> trust me. Um, it's just, you know, I, uh, this could definitely roll off and you could definitely pull the trigger in a heated moment. Let's not, uh, you know, split hairs. It's just, it is what it is. Now, if you like the holster, that's fine. You're welcome to use it. I have no issues with that. I respect I have friends that use the Blackhawk, uh, Serpa. They recommended it to me. Um, I had one friend that rec uh, told me to look into some information and I started looking it, looking into it. And when I got my holster, I decided to play around with it. Um, and I was able to pull the trigger without much uh work without much uh, effort um just by doing a hasty pull and letting my finger slip off this might not be the same with every gun because like i said the glock is very uh very narrow here and it has a rounded profile but um it's just not the right you know not the right system for me what i'm going to do is i'm going to order a safari land uh that was recommended to me and i'm going to uh, do a review on that when that comes in i think that might be a little better system for me as of now this is going back um like this is not a bash on anyone who bought this holster i think it's a great quality holster um i just think in the heat of the moment it does have a potential to become dangerous um so just you know if you are going to use this holder practice your muscle memory make sure your finger's staying up high even maybe uh practice a pull up you know when you come out pull up automatically you know out and up but you see it's just like you know once you're pushing down you got to come up down and up you know instead of coming down and maybe trying to think about the trigger just um yeah that's great my phone's ringing let's uh during <clears throat> damn it it's fucking it's probably the fucking you know youtube nazis trying to figure out if i safety check the gun interrupting my video how rude maybe i'll edit that out i don't know editing's work so anyway there it is um it's Thanksgiving week this week, guys. I hope you guys all have a, sa a safe and happy holiday. Be careful out there on those Black Friday sales, you know, tramplers, you know how they are. Things are just getting really crazy out there. But uh, I want to thank everyone for watching. Thank everyone for watching. And uh, I'll have some more videos soon. All right? GR out.